Hey, everybody, it's time for PE. No, we're not going to be using pumpkins. That would be fun, though. But we're not. But let's get ready for something fun. Today's lesson, we're going to be doing some paper ball challenges. So you need a ball made of paper. Okay, so today then, in our paper ball challenge lessons, we're going to be using a paper ball for some fun challenges. We're going to be working on hand-eye coordination. Now, for this though, we're not just going to be using our hands, we're going to use our body. So be prepared for challenges where you can use different parts of your body, but always, always, always watch the ball. We are going to start with the warm-up. Be ready for that. On the music, we are doing jumping jacks. Alright, next up is push-ups. Make sure you have a nice straight body, bend those arms, take a break when you need it. If you need to take a break, remember to stop. One, two, three, go again. Let's see if we can get really good push-ups. Next up are mountain climbers. Remember, we're reaching up high with our hands, getting those knees up, mountain climbers. Get those knees up, get your arms up, rolling your toes. Alright, next up are squats. Remember, bend your knees, get your bottom back, sit down into it. Bend your knees, bottom back, really squat down into it. Make sure you get your bottom all the way back, really bend those knees. Okay, next up, sit-ups. Remember, arms cross your chest, feet on the ground, knees bent, sit the whole way up. If you can't quite do that yet, you can kick your legs forward as you sit up, kick your feet forward, or as you sit up, lift your feet a little bit. Try and keep your feet as close to the floor as you can. Your feet are going to move a little bit off the floor, but don't worry about that. Okay, last thing, lunges. Remember, we step forwards into our lunge, get that back knee on the ground. Make sure you switch feet each time. Always step forwards into your lunge. Oops, woo! Think I want to lay down and have a little wobble, so I'm going to fix that. There we go. Alright, good job. Now, catch your breath and be ready for our next activity. Good job.
Hey everybody. All right, so this week is going to be the last week that we really look at some throwing and catching hand-eye coordination stuff, like for reals. Um, we are going to do some of that stuff later on, but we've done a lot of that, so this is kind of the final week of that. All right, the only thing that you need for today is your trusty paper ball. If you've lost it, oh, I don't know what you can do. Make a new one. All right, just a piece of paper, crumble it up. So everything today is just you and your trusty paper ball. You will have one minute for each challenge, all right? So you're going to get one minute to do whoop, to do each challenge. All you need is your trusty paper ball. Woo, paper ball. All right, so for our first challenge, again, hand-eye coordination, we're watching the object and then we're moving in a certain way. So all we're going to do is we're going to put the ball on the back of my hand, throw it up, catch it. Put the ball on the back of my hand, throw it, catch it. So right now, I'm using my right hand. I'm right-handed, so that's not too tricky. If I find it too easy, I can use my left hand. Oh, see, a little bit more difficult. So I can change hands and use my other hand, throw it up, catch it. What about starting one hand, catching the other? Starting one hand, catching the other. So your job is to start with it on the back of your hand and catch it. It doesn't matter what hand you use. It doesn't matter if you're throwing in one and catching with the other, as long as it starts on the back of your hand and then you catch it. You're going to have one minute. Ready? Go.
How was that one? That one was a little bit more tricky than the first one, right? Yeah? But I bet you managed to keep it going. So, with all of these, you can make it easier or harder. So I could, but for the other one, use both hands to keep it going. We use one hand in that hand you use. As long as you're tapping in the air to keep it in the air, fantastic. Next one, all right? We're gonna be using the back of our hand and our palm. So we're gonna be taking turns. So I'm gonna start on the back of my hand. I'm gonna throw it up, tap, 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 tap. And each time, I'm turning my hand. What happens if you drop it? It fits the rear. So what you do is you pick it up and you start here. Could you take turns with your hands? Absolutely. As long as you go back, palm, back, palm, and so on. So we can see, I must admit I was paying attention to the camera so I did drop it really quickly. So we can see that we've got a watch and then flip our hand. We're just tapping it really gently and lightly. Can we use the other hand? Certainly. So we could keep our hands like this. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it starts from the back of your hand and then use your palm back, palm back. If you make a mistake and do two taps on your palm, does it matter? No. As long as we're going back, hand, back, hand. What we're doing is we're watching that ball and moving our hands. And we're making each step a little bit more difficult to challenge ourselves. So you could take turns with your hand, both hands if you want, as long as you're using back and palm, or you can do it in the same hand. If you can do that really easily, you can change to the other hand. All right, so back, palm, back, palm. You have one minute, do your best, go.
you manage to tap it with your foot? You did, awesome, because that was the first part. Did you manage to catch it? Great, that's excellent. Some of you might find when I call it once, perfect. But as long as you're tapping it with your foot each time, because we're switching up that hand-eye coordination, so it's not always your hand you use. For that, we watched it, and we used that foot. So when we talk about hand-eye coordination, it's not necessarily just our hands we're using, as long as we watch and move our body to match it, everything's great. All right, next one. Similar, except now we're going to use our knee. So I'm going to drop it, knee, and then try and catch. Remember, the most important thing right now is hitting it off your knee, and I do need to watch what I'm doing, not look at the camera. So I need to tap it with my knee and catch. I drop, tap, ooh, so close. So we're working on, still here, hello. So we're working on that action of watching it and eating it with our knee. So tap, catch, oh, I got it, tap, catch. So drop, tap, with my knee, catch. And if you watch what I'm doing is I'm bringing my knee up to meet it. It's not there, I'm just dropping it, I'm bringing it up. So I drop, bring my knee up, all right? That's all around the top of my, woo, over there. So as long as, still here, it's the ball, okay? So as long as we're making contact with our knee, great. If we can catch it, even better. So remember, drop, tap, catch. Drop, tap, catch. Drop, tap, catch. See if you can do it. Remember, as long as you hit the ball with your knee, you're great. If you can catch it, even better. Your minute starts now.
to our painful challenges. Okay, so the last one is your choice. What does that mean? It means you can, any way you want, use the paper ball and parts of your body. So let me give an example. I could throw it, hit it with my head, and make four attempts to catch and it still fell out, right? <laughs> so I could use my head, hit it and catch. So that's an option. Um, let's see, ooh, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. I could do my shoulder and try and catch it. So you could sit down and do it, you could lay down and do it, but it is your choice now of how you're going to get the paper ball in the air, what part of your body you're going to use, and if you're going to catch it. So think about what you can do. Think about what we've just done, and then come up with your own choice. You're then going to video that and post it to me, submit it. So, kindergarten first grade, click the media tab, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders, you are going to click the red button to record it. Your choice of activity for how you use this ball. All right? We've got to get it in the air somehow. You've got to use a part of your body. And if you catch it, great. All right? You have one minute. Go. to see what choices you come up with. Um, I know you're going to be so much more creative than I am because you are awesome. So I'd love to see those videos. Make sure you've gone through all of those challenges. If you need to go back and try them again, feel free to do that. But remember to submit your video of you doing your choice of challenge. I look forward to seeing it. And until the next challenge, have fun, stay active, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. challenges. So today, for our paper ball challenges, we were working on hand-eye coordination. It's called that even when you're using different parts of your body. The key thing, the most important thing is we always watch the object and then we move to it. We always watch it and then we move to meet it. I hope you had fun. Okay, so the last thing for you is remember to submit your video. I'm super excited to see you working hard and doing awesome. So remember, submit that video so I can see how great you are. What a fun lesson. I can't believe how much fun I had making it. I hope you had fun too. Until next time, stay active, do something fun. <laughs>